This is the world's first flying bike, the Lazarus LMV 496, a motorcycle that doesn't just ride on the road, it can actually lift off the ground and hover like something out of science fiction. It's real, it works, and it comes from the mind of French engineer Ludovic Lazarus, a man known for pushing the limits of design and engineering. At first glance, the LMV 496 looks like a futuristic superbike. Sharp, angular bodywork, carbon fiber panels, and a design that screams power. But look closer and you'll see that this isn't just a normal motorcycle. Each wheel hides something extraordinary. Jet turbines that can rotate and fire up to lift the entire bike into the air. That's the heart of this concept. A machine that rides like an electric motorcycle on the road, but with the flick of a switch transforms into a flying vehicle. In its regular mode, the LMV 496 runs as a fully electric superbike. It's powered by an electric motor that gives it a range of about 100 kilometers on a single charge. That makes it practical enough to use as a city bike, cruising quietly with the instant torque of an electric powertrain. From the rider's perspective, it feels like a high-tech sport bike, except for the fact that you know it can do something no other motorcycle can. Here's where things get wild. When it's time to fly, the wheels rotate from vertical to horizontal. Inside each rim sits a jet-powered turbine, burning kerosene fuel and generating huge amounts of thrust. With all four turbines engaged, the LMV 496 can lift off the ground and hover several feet in the air. It's controlled by a system of sensors and gyros that keep it balanced, just like a drone, so the rider doesn't have to constantly fight to stay upright. The flight time isn't long, around 10 minutes of hovering before fuel runs out, but it's enough to prove that flying motorcycles aren't just a dream anymore. Switching between riding and flying feels almost unreal. You start in road mode, twist the throttle like any other bike, and then, with a flip of a switch, the entire machine transforms. The wheels rotate, the turbines ignite, and suddenly you're no longer riding, you're floating. From the outside, it looks futuristic. From the seat, it feels like stepping into another era of transport. Each turbine produces an incredible amount of thrust. Combined, they generate nearly 1,300 horsepower, an insane figure for a machine this small. But all that power doesn't go to the wheels. Instead, it's pure lift pushing the entire motorcycle and rider into the air. And to keep things from going out of control, a flight computer manages everything behind the scenes. It's constantly adjusting power and angle to keep the LMV 496 stable. Of course, something this advanced doesn't come cheap. The LMV 496 is priced at around $560,000. Yes, over half a million dollars for the chance to ride and fly the first real hover bike in the world. Only a handful of units have been built, making it not just futuristic, but also one of the rarest motorcycles on the planet. Before we continue with the challenges, risks, and what this bike means for the future, make sure to like this video and subscribe. We're bringing you the craziest concept machines and futuristic tech every week. All right, let's get back to the LMV 496. As amazing as it looks, the LMV 496 isn't designed for everyday use. Flying at low altitudes with four exposed jet turbines is dangerous. A strong gust of wind, a mechanical fault, or even a miscalculation could send the bike crashing. That's why it's only flown in controlled environments during demonstrations. Still, the fact that it can fly safely at all is groundbreaking. It shows that the line between motorcycles and aircraft is starting to blur. Because only a few Lazarus LMV 496 units exist, owning one is like owning a piece of history. It's not just about having a bike, it's about being part of a milestone. Just like the first airplanes are now displayed in museums, this bike represents the very first step in flying motorcycles. For collectors, it's less about practicality and more about being able to say, this is where it all began. On the ground, the LMV 496 rides like a futuristic electric superbike, fast, sleek, and silent. But in the air, the story changes completely. When the turbines roar to life and the bike lifts off, Riders describe the sensation as both thrilling and surreal. It's not like flying a plane where you glide through the sky. Instead, it feels more like hovering in place, suspended between road and sky. The computer systems handle most of the balancing, so the rider can focus on controlling direction and throttle. Still, sitting on four jet engines spinning at thousands of RPMs takes nerves of steel. 
Now, the LMV-496 isn't the only attempt at creating flying bikes. Companies in Japan and Dubai are experimenting with hover bikes that look more like oversized drones, using exposed propellers to lift riders into the air. But Lazarus' design stands out. Instead of large drone blades, the turbines are hidden inside the wheels. That gives the LMV-496 the unique ability to function both as a road bike and a flying machine. It's not just a drone you ride, it's a motorcycle that transforms. Of course, there are plenty of challenges before bikes like, this could become mainstream. The jet turbines are extremely loud. 10 minutes of flight time is too short for commuting. At more than half a million dollars, it's out of reach for most riders. Regulations. Airspace laws and safety standards aren't ready for flying motorcycles. But every revolutionary, technology starts with limitations. The first airplanes couldn't fly far either. Over time, advances in batteries, AI, and safety systems could make flying bikes more practical. So why does this bike matter if it's expensive, noisy, and not practical yet? Because it proves what's possible. For decades, people have dreamed about flying cars and motorcycles. The LMV-496 shows that those dreams aren't just science fiction anymore. They're starting to take shape in real machines. It's a symbol of human imagination and engineering, pushing the boundaries of what's possible on two wheels. The LMV-496 is only the beginning. With rapid progress in electric aviation, AI-controlled flight systems, and lightweight materials, the concept of flying personal transport is becoming more realistic. In the future, we could see bikes with quieter electric turbines, longer flight, ranges and safety systems that make them as easy to operate as a scooter. This concept may look wild today, but so did the first cars when they replaced horses. Every leap forward starts with a crazy prototype. The Lazarus LMV-496 is outrageous, impractical and insanely expensive, but it's also groundbreaking. It's the world's first real flying bike, a machine that rides on the road then lifts into the air on four roaring turbines. It may not be ready for everyday transport, but it represents the beginning of something new, and that's what makes it one of the craziest concept machines ever built. With that said, thanks for watching. Until next time, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.